No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> look at his lips. <laughs> Have you been playing Battlefront 2 since beta and are tired of looking at the same old Harry Connick Jr. version of Anakin? Or maybe you're brand new and are really disappointed that characters like Mace Windu and Ahsoka Tano aren't in the game. If so, good news! You can use fan-created skins to spice up the Battlefront to your personal taste, instead of settling for DICE's basic bitch cosmetics. This video will showcase the skins I'm currently using and how they're installed, with download links in the description. There are time markers in the scroll bar and the pinned comment for your convenience if you want to easily get to any part of the video. Please like and subscribe if you find this helpful. My first 1,000 subscribers will be memorialized in my 1K video, for which I have something very special planned. Now, let's begin. I have every single hero skin modded because after three years, things kind of got stale. Which is why I think it would have been better if EA DICE had kept support for this game going through battle passes that had cool cosmetic-only rewards like skins, crosshairs, and emotes. You know, I'd love to, to have a little Republic symbol as my crosshairs or more official skins for Vader, Maul, Palpatine, etc, etc. In lieu of that though, these are the skins I currently use. First off, we have Patriot Boba. I like this one because it kind of reminds me of Evil Knievel, and Boba is kind of a daredevil. A daredevil rocket man. Rock it man. Next we have Frosk, the swampy froggy with the smoggy foggy. Some skins I use purely for comic relief, and this one fits the bill. When you activate the uh, predator instincts, you hear like ribbit sounds. It's amusing. Here we have Captain Rex. I like this one because it comes with three different versions. Phase 1, Phase 2, and Old Man Rex. Old Rex is the one I use the most. Next, Damaged Vader, one of my favorites. This skin has several different versions to it, but you obviously have to pick one to use at a time since Vader only has one skin. One thing to keep in mind though is that this mod will have Vader breathing as though he's heavily damaged all the time, which can take some getting used to. And here's sweet old Mother Talzin. I think this is one of the most well-made fan skins to date. Even the voice lines are excellent. Check him out. Where one sees failure, others see opportunity. I am a simple witch, not worth the trouble or attention of the great gen I order. We will survive. We always have. Such hate. The sheer power of it. I used to use the Darth Jar Jar skin because it was so funny, but this one just looks so good. I mean, look at these textures. Like a Dathomirian rose with beautiful thorny red petals. And as an added bonus, Talzin doesn't come with the clothing bug that Palpatine has when you dodge around with his second skin. And then there's my man Han Solo. The only thing I use for him is the Young No Longer mod, which just makes it so that, you know, when people pick the younger skins, it looks like him. I don't use anything beyond that because Bearded Han is best Han. One bug to keep in mind with this one, though, is that, uh, Sometimes the hair will mess up. <laughs> There's like a funny hair bug. You'll look like either bald or have white hair, like that's mostly missing, but just some like patches of white. But at the plus side, you don't have to look at the fake version of Han. Grand Moff Tarkin, in my opinion, is the most well-designed Iden skin I've seen. And it also has good voice lines. Lord Vader will be pleased. Let's show them the full might of the Imperial Navy. Crush this rebellion. You may fire when ready. Sir Me's version of Darth Revan is the best I've tried so far. It even comes with an appropriate lightsaber, unlike others I've tried. However, one bug does occasionally occur where Revan's head will not load in on the skins where you can see his face. It can be like fighting the Headless Horseman or a Nazgul. For Lando, I also only use the Young No Longer skin, because Lando's administrator appearance is my favorite for him. 
For Leia, I use this new version of Bo-Katan, which looks fantastic. I'm pretty sure you have to download the voice lines separately, but I haven't decided if I want to use them yet. When it comes to Luke, I haven't used a skin up to this point because his Return of the Jedi appearance is my favorite for him. But I installed Jacked Luke in order to show how to get the skins from Nexus mods and install them. I actually kind of like it. Almost looks like He-Man, but with a saber. Same haircut and everything. And here we have Mandalore Maul. Dice's old master skin looks really weird when it runs, and even worse when it walks. So I much prefer this version. Fulcrum 1313's Ahsoka Tano mod is very well done and comes with six different versions of Ahsoka to choose from. This Lady Ahsoka one is my favorite. Check out Ahsoka's lines. It's not for him to decide when and how I should put my life in danger. That should be my choice. If there's one thing I've learned from you, Master, it's that following direct orders isn't always the best way to solve a problem. I am no Jedi. You don't have to look tough to be tough. Super Yoda's another amusing one. Looks like he's about to go trick-or-treating or be tucked into bed. There's also a Spider-Man version if you prefer. Mandalorian is another very well done skin. Unfortunately, one of the trade-offs of this one is that the Kafex spy's coat will be possessed like the girl from the ring. And every EL-16 will look like Mando's, which I'm fine with. Next we have Capeless Phasma. Capes on troopers just look weird to me. They seem more at home on Jedi, Sith, Mandalorians, and most of all, Lando Calrissian, who wears it best. I also have voice lines on Phasma installed to make her sound like a screaming Japanese guy, because it's funny. The only thing I've done to Grievous is give him red lightsabers, which seems appropriate since it's canon now that lightsabers can either be corrupted or cleansed by the wielder. Mythic Kenobi is a strong contender for my most favorite skin. It's based on a Mythos statue that sells for well over $500. I'd love to have one someday, but this is a good holdover, one that I can actually play with, unlike the statue. It comes with three different Mythos skins. And here we have Count Dookie, who's become more pimp than any Jedi, with his red PJs, looking like half about to throw a pajama party at the Playboy Mansion. One of my biggest disappointments with Battlefront 2 was that they didn't add Mace Windu, so it's the skin I used to replace Harry Connick Anakin. The face on the General Skywalker one used to bug out and make me laugh so hard, but it eventually got fixed. And here we have the version of Baby Grogu that was imported from Fortnite, which looks pretty good. Use this and Super Yoda if you want maximum cuteness on a team. His voice lines are definitely the cutest thing in all of Star Wars. And his emotes look pretty funny. R3S6 is a skin I'm trying out because if they were going to add droids, then I wish it would have been something like R2D2 on the light side and like IG88 or HK47 on the dark side. That would have been amazing. Statement. HK47 is ready to serve, master. But I'm using this instead of the soccer balls. So, those are the skins I'm currently using. Now I'll show you how you can install skins you want to try. First, you'll need to download and install Frosty Mod Manager, link in the description below. Once it's installed, tick the box in the bottom left that says Remember My Choice, and then select the game you want to mod by clicking New in the bottom right corner and then navigating to the folder where your game is installed. Then, select the game's executable. After you've pointed the manager to the game that you want to mod, if you don't already have a profile on Nexus Mods, go ahead and create one and then find the mod you want. Select the Files tab on your chosen mod, and then click Slow Download unless you're a premium member. Once the download is finished, go to the folder you downloaded to and unzip the mod. I use 7-zip, so for me, I right-click the file, and then in the 7-zip drop-down menu, select Extract Files. Now, go back to Frosty Mod Manager and click Import Mods. Navigate to the folder you downloaded the mod to, and go into the unzipped mod folder. Select the file in the folder, and click Open in the bottom right. Now select Apply Mod, and that's it. 
but keep in mind that load order is very important when modding. For instance, to get Grogu and R3S6 to work together, you have to put Grogu lower in the load order than the other one. You do that by clicking the mod and then selecting the up or down arrow boxes. If a mod isn't working correctly for you, then I recommend trying a different load order. And that about covers it. Come join my guild Phobane if you want to have fun with some cool peeps. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. Meat bags, meat bags, meat bags, meat bags.